Hello and welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a zombies map. In this video I'll be showing you how to add path nodes that way your zombies and your dogs can walk around the map. So first things first we're going to select our zombies and we're going to move them to where we want them. So we'll put them here and then we'll bring these ones down here like so. And then we'll just select these two to change the direction and then we'll change these two direction as well. And then we'll copy our dogs. Oops. We'll copy our dog spawns as well and just flip them around like so. So I want them there as well. That way I have more than just two. And then what we're going to do, like I said, we need to add in path node. So a path node, you right click, go to node, path node, and that's going to spawn in a little box like this. Change the view, make sure it's not in the ground, then change it back. Now with this, these need to be anywhere you want your zombies to walk. Now a rule of thumb, I forget how far of a distance they can be, um, but you don't want them too far. You never want them touching. You never want them inside of a wall or inside the ground or anything like that. But what we'll do is we'll start building these out. And as you can see here, I'm going to start building a path from my zombie to the window. Now keep in mind, the traverses, they kind of have their own path nodes, so you don't really need to add more there. And then what I'll do is I'll do the same down here. And as you can see, I'm not adding one in this gap because I don't want my zombies to walk to the other window. That's just, just weird. And if that ever happens and you don't want to happen, you can just add in some monster clippings so that the, the zombies don't walk that way and they won't be able to. There'll be an invisible wall that they can't go by. So pretty much we're just going to do this. And when working around corners, try to add more. As you can see, I'm adding more here than I, I will be adding in the, in the middle. As you can see, in the middle where there's a big area, I can get away with less uh, path nodes. So I'll just select these, like so. And then again, you want to make sure that the path nodes are not in any walls or any other objects or anything like that. Uh, if you put a, anything down there, you're going to have to put them around. And as you can see, looking at this, this is annoying. Path nodes are everywhere, and path nodes will be everywhere because you're going to add them anywhere you want your zombies to walk. And it will get to a point where you'll just have the whole thing fill with a lot of path nodes at some equal spacing, but pretty much it's just going to look ugly. So what you can do is you can hit F on the keyboard, and then you can tick path nodes. And as you can see, that hides them all. They're still there, but you won't be able to... Oops. They're still there, but you won't be able to mess with them or change them or anything like that. So once you have them done, you can just hide them. And then we can hit F on the keyboard. So hit Control S on the keyboard, save the map, compile it, and I'll see you in game. Alright, so here we are inside of our game. We're going to give it a few moments or zombies will start spawning in. And if all goes well, they'll walk to the windows, start breaking them down, and then climb inside. If, however, a zombie doesn't come to your window, one of your windows, one, make sure that you have the window set up correctly, and then two, make sure that there is enough path nodes to the window. As you can see, zombies are coming there, zombies are coming there, zombies coming there, zombies come in there, and then just let them come inside of the map and make sure that they can walk inside as well. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Come on, Mr. Zombie, can you do it too? I'm getting a little nervous here. Oh, there we go. And there we go. So our windows work, our path nodes work, as you can see, and then the path nodes will work for the dogs as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button. Check out the tutorial series, uh, the playlist in the description. Watch all of them. And if you would like to, you can click the support button on my YouTube channel and send me some love. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.